hello everyone welcome to my channel and in this video i will show you how to upgrade kubernetes version in azure so before we upgrade any version of kubernetes there are three steps are required the first one is to find out what version are currently available for subscription and revision second the pre-upgrade planning identify and breaking changes in an existing version before we move to the new version and you can monitor the events during the upgrade so let's start first of all let's find out the version currently available for my region so for that you can use this command az aks get version location and output table now my location so currently i have created the kubernetes environments on east us location so let's open the terminal and type az aks get version location east us output table. okay so currently in east us region this 1.23.12 1.23.15 1 1.24 and 1.25 so this kubernetes versions are available now let's check our current version so easy aks get updates resource group name my resource group name is aks demo and my cluster name is also aks demo click enter so my current version is 1.23.12 and i can upgrade to 1.23.15 1.24.6 1 1.24.9 okay so now kubernetes use a semantic versioning it means that first one is major, second one is minor, and third one is a patch version. So here, in our example, 1 is a major version, 23 is a minor version, and 12 is a patch. And in a Kubernetes, you cannot upgrade one minor version at a time. You can only upgrade one minor version at a time. It means that you can upgrade 1.14.x to 1.15.x, but you cannot upgrade 1.14.x to 1.16.x directly. To upgrade the 1.14.x to 1.16.x, you must upgrade first 1.14.x to 1.15.x and then perform 1.15x to 1.16.x. So in our case, we can't directly merge, we can't directly upgrade 1.23.12 to 1.24.6 sorry in our case we can't upgrade 1.23.12 to 1.25.4 so first we need to upgrade the 1.23 to 1.24 and then and then we can upgrade 1.25 so let's start so now we understand our current version is 1.23.12 and now we need to migrate first we need to upgrade first 1.23.15 it's a patch version we are going to upgrade after that the second step is to identify the breaking changes in the current environment so for that i am using the dtree so dtree is a tool where you can validate your schema version as well as misconfiguration of in your kubernetes so here i am using dtree for identify the schema version so for that what i did I have created <coughs> YAML file for my all existing Kubernetes object. So let's first create a YAML file and after that we can validate it. So let me first generate YAML file in my existing object. So you can see in my Kubernetes, I have five pod. So it's same like a voting application as well as I have a five deployment. I have a secret services. So it will create a YAML file of this object so let's quickly check so now yaml files are available so let me go to the deployment dot apps and here you can see this all are the yaml file db dot yaml redis dot yaml result dot yaml vote dot yaml and worker dot yaml so here you can see in the deployment db redis result vote and yaml now <coughs> my current version is 1.23 where is it this one 1.23.12 now i want to upgrade into the 1.23.15 it's a patch version so definitely there is no breaking change so let's quickly check for 1.24.6 so so let me copy this so date traced now what i want to uh, what version i need to upgrade so 1.24 so i want to check the breaking changes against this version and <coughs> 
here star dot yaml yeah so here you can see ignore the other errors but we want to focus on the kubernetes schema validation so here you can see uh, here passing the kubernetes 1.24.0 schema validation so it's a pass we have five files and my schema validation is correct there is no error regarding the schema validation. similarly you can for uh, you can check for the next version 1.25.0 okay meanwhile let's start the upgrade process from 1.23.12 to 1.23.15 so right now we are just upgrading the patch version after that we are going to move to the 1.24.6 so for that go to the portal.azure.com and here also you can check the end of life for particular version so go to go down here you can see the 1.20 1.23 version the end of life is april 20 2023 1.24 july 2023 also you can uh, use this website end of life dot 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 date where you can see 1.23 and ends in a one month and two weeks so you can uh, you can use any of this website now go to the cluster uh, cluster configuration and here first we are going to and click on the upgrade version first we are going to upgrade into the 1.23.15 patch version we are going to upgrade and after that 1.24.6 you can directly move from 1.23 to 1.24 because it is a patch version patch version is okay you can't skip the minor version okay so select this and here i am first i am going to upgrade only the control plane so click here and save so it will first upgrade the control plane so while upgrade the control plane you can access the your kubernetes object there will be no issues okay let's wait yes yes now my control plane is upgrade so go to the kubernetes cluster again cluster configuration and click on node pool so click on asian pool and click on upgrade kubernetes so here you can see the next version is available patch version next patch version is available 1.23.15 1.23.15 and click apply so once you click apply it will start upgrading the node pool and you can check the events here kubernetes gate event so here let me first start so watch kubernetes gate event so yeah so upgrade process is going on let's wait So currently my version is 1.23.12 so let's wait yes so now here you can see one node is increased now let's go to the event again so here you can see yeah so first 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 say so drain the control wait i will explain 58 second 58 yes so first of all it will create one node it's called search node after that all the pulled are evicted after that it will upgrade the version and it will drop the drain no so uh, sorry it will drop that search node yeah so you can see here the action is going on and you can also see here yes so now two node count and you can show in the lens also see currently it will add one more node having the version 1.23.15 and the, in the old node it will schedule disabled so ultimately what happened i there are four steps happen during the upgrade activity it will create a search node okay it means extra node after it will do the drain so poll are being evicted from the node update so update of a node has been successful or failed and after that it will delete the search node. so these four events occur during the upgrade activity so let's quickly check so still the upgrade activity is there yes now you can see upgrade activity is completed now so let's quickly check yes here you can see let's wait for notification yeah here again you can see for kubernetes 1.25.0 the schema validation is passed so there is no issue if we move uh, our kubernetes for, uh, upgrade from uh, from from 1.23 to 1.25 so there will be no schema related issue so there is no breaking change okay now let's quickly check our kubernetes version <coughs> sorry this one yes so my, now my master version is 1.23.15 
I can upgrade to 1.24.6 or 1.24.9. So similar process you can apply for next version. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.